Hello, my beautiful crafty friends. It's Lorette, the Vintage Paper Girl. Welcome to my studio. I'm so excited to have you in my Vintage Paper Studio. So welcome, welcome. Um, today, well, I hope you all, first of all, before we get going, because I mean, you know, I'll get going. Today, I want to say I hope that you all had a lovely Easter weekend if you celebrate Easter. And if you don't, I hope you had a wonderful holiday weekend or just a wonderful weekend. This is my first video for you in a while. So um, I am here to have a little play with lots of fun things. So I hope you're all well. How are you guys? What's new? Anything exciting? I hope so. I hope you have good things on the horizon for you. Lovely spring weather here in California. It's in the 70s. Can you believe it? We went from the 40s to the 70s. Well, it was almost 80 yesterday. So it's like, wow, can you believe it? 40 degree swing. Oh my goodness. So a little bit warm in the studio today. I'm not used to the warmth. Oh my gosh, we've had such a long, hard winter. It's going to be really hard adjusting to summer, I think, you know. And I think we're going to go straight from, oh, winter to maybe spring, but I don't think we're going to get much. I think it's going to be a whole big summer thing right away. So anyway, I have three fun projects here, all having to do with 12 by 12 scrapbook papers and coffee dyed paper. Oh, well, dyed papers, coffee dyed. I think this is a vegetable one. It's kind of got a blue tint. It's hard to see, but it does have a blue tint. This one is, I think, Kool-Aid paper. And so, you know, I've got some, and then coffee dyed paper here. So I've got some fun things today, how-tos for you. We'll see how far we get. What we don't get done today, we'll do in another video. But I have a couple new projects going on um, that I'm excited about. And, um... So you know how it is with me. I get bored real easy, so I wanna move on to the next thing. But some things have been going on for a long time. Now, what I'm gonna say is there are three projects here and I'm gonna move these off to the side for a minute. And we can talk about this one here. Um, this is one that I made, oh gosh, two or three years ago when I first started crafting. I made these full page clusters and this is probably three years ago before um, I started doing videos or anything like that when I was selling my clusters. And so I made these cluster sheets and they've been hanging on my wall, but they're not getting used. Now, you know, the new craze is Tina's at, at Shabby Debbie Do Dot, her ephemera books. Now I had mine cut out. I mean, had mine together and ready to go the next day or well, actually, I got up and folded them in the middle of the night and then started, you know, putting them together. So I only got so far and I thought, well, maybe we could do some together. Now, I know everybody's doing these, but like all of us, we have a need. I'm going to check to see what you see. I'm going to move that up a little because these are big. Um, so what I did is the ones that were sitting in little containers, I, because they've been sitting there, they're not getting used. I put them on some pages and I spread mine out because I actually want to build my clusters with the papers behind them. If I put them close together, yeah, it's storage, but I also wanted to add color or words or, you know, something like that. So this is my twist on it, which is a little bit different because I actually like these papers. They are single-sided. Um, I do have double-sided paper, but I don't really have any I don't want to use. I don't have... I pretty much buy papers I want to use. Um, yes, I have old papers, but they're single-sided again. So this was kind of mine, and the white side is what's going to get glued down. So that's why you don't see anything on them. Um, I have some over here. These all need these all need focal points, and at some point, maybe we'll just do a page of decorating. You know, some of these plainer ones. That some of these are already decorated and ready to be put on. Like that one's not decorated. You know, ready to be put on something. And this is a thin paper. It's not heavy, which is great for making clusters. Um, same with this one. So this one, if I glued them in, yeah, I did. I started this um, with what I already had. Now, these are pa these are fabric clusters. Now, some of these over here have fabric on them, but the back is um, paper, coffee dyed paper, which I like to do my clusters on. Now, these are fabric, right? So I have some fabric, some coffee dyed fabric again you know so I have a variety and I, I didn't feel like I wanted a specific book um I don't have that many to do that with I don't really need to yet you know maybe someday um I'll be where Gail and some of the others are and then I have this page these are all fabric you know so um that's what we have so those are my my books right and um I have all of these that are going to need a home they need to be ripped around and then glued in these are these are done this one isn't 
these are not done either. They just have the base, but they don't have all their goodies. Well, apparently I had started them a long time ago because I have a bag of goodies that would go on them that I had pulled to put on them. And then I have a few clusters. They must have gone on to another sheet or I've already used them all and sold them. But here's some more. These are all in blues. And I thought I was going to be making blue journals, but I have not gone that way. I went to the pink side. I went to the dark side of pink. <laughs> So I have all these to work with if I want, and these that can be cut and glued on here. So that's one project if we want to do that today, but that's just one. So I thought I'd share that with you. Uh, this was the other that I made too, right? So, and then three is I have, um, I got this beautiful kit from Mixed Media Minnesota. I got her kit for this month, I think the month of April. Here's my kit, all the goodies, right? And so I wanted to play with it. And um, I loved the pinks and the blues because it was a combination of my favorite colors. And I have all these um, lovely projects to do with them. And so I thought, wow, you know, I, I want to get busy and make something with it before I lose my excitement about it and don't do anything with it. I've been pulling everything to look to see, ooh, what can we make? And we're going to do my favorite thing in the world, which is to make ephemera folios. As you know, I make them, the really big ones, and then I fill them with all kinds of unique and different ephemera. And that matches it or goes with it. Uh, sometimes I add a journal to it. Sometimes I don't. Usually this goes back in here really easy. Of course, today, yeah, I'll do it later. Um, and it, it has some stuff, but it really doesn't have enough. I'm going to have to be extremely creative with what's here because there's no real like chipboard pieces. There's a little bit here, but there's no cards that I can, well, let's see. Oh, maybe there's more in here than I think. Ho, ho. I've never used, gotten one of these before. This is 49 in market scrapbook paper. So for you, those of you who love your scrapbook papers, this is going to be a fun project for you. You can do it with any scrapbook paper you have. It doesn't have to be this one. Oh, these pop out. Okay, and then what do I have over here? Oh, they all pop out. Are they stickers? Sort of butterflies more tranquilly. Laser cut wildflowers. It doesn't say they're stickers, so my guess is we're going to be gluing. But we have all these lovely things that are laser cut that we can cut out and use as decorations. But we don't have, like, journaling cards and things. So, like, there's no kit. Like, there is with um, Blue Fern and some of the others. You know, they all have the journaling cards and they have bags of goodies for you to decorate with. These guys have chosen to do the long laser cut sheet, which isn't a bad thing. Now, I am not on their design team or anything. I just bought one because I liked the paper and all the sprays and the goodies and all the uh, washi tape and, you know, all the, all the fun stuff. But what they do have, what they did have were the six by eight. So that means I can make journaling cards out of these. And there's some goodies here that I cut out, but I can turn around and make these into journaling cards or tags or whatever I need. So that is going to help me a ton. You know what I mean? So, and it's not a huge project. We can draw, drag it out or we can make it quick. It kind of depends what we want to do, but I wanted something totally different from what I've been doing. I'm tired of making journals. I don't want to make any journals for a while. So, um, and then I made this folder because I couldn't decide on a front and back page for this. So I've gone back and forth as to what, you know, I want to do. See, it says that needs to lay on its side. So I'm going to move those off to the side, literally. I'll put that on the floor. Um, I couldn't decide what I wanted for front and back, and you'll see in a minute what I'm talking about. I am going to use lovely ladies on here because it wouldn't be me if I did not. And what it shows you is you can take a contemporary paper, add some old world items and make something that's really unique and totally you, right? So my worry was, okay, this is actually gonna be the cover and you'd be like, how is that a possibility? Well, because when you go like this, when you close it, this is your cover. You open it and it goes like that, okay? So there's your insides. Whoops, I don't wanna lose my ladies. Let me move those out. So this is my biggest project and I couldn't decide between the roses um, or this other cover. You know, I was gonna do these two. But then I thought, well, maybe I want more pink and blue than I do the blue. Does that make sense? And that I would keep this as another piece to add. So I'm kind of thinking that's what I'm going to do. It is as big as that, so I probably would have to take it down in both width and height if I want to put it with this one, maybe. So I don't know. I'm in a I don't know place. I'm in a I don't know place. I don't know. I don't know. 
Um, but I was thinking this is going to be my cover. And then this ends up being, I think, my back right here. So that's kind of how it works. Uh, so anyway, this is what we have. And how I make these, I kind of, this is something I came up with. I don't know if anybody, I guess everybody else might do these. I, I do these. I don't know. I use 12 by 12 scrapbook paper. I turned up two inches, so it's 10 inches tall. And I use fabric as my, um, my binding. Okay. So <clears throat> I think we can go ahead and do that. But before I do that, I know, I think, so I guess we're going to start with this project. If we have time, we'll get to the other one. If not, everybody's done those and you know all about them. But I thought it would be fun to decorate some. See how I like to decorate my clusters, what I add, you know, what, what, how I figure that out. Um, if you do the one-page clusters, oh, wow, they're fun because you get a lot done. Now, I've not tried this, so I want to try it on something. Um, I have a couple of pieces over here for another project I want to do because I just love this paper. And it's, I know it's contemporary, but... Let's see when we ink this, what do we get? I've not used this before. Oh yeah, this is. I think this is chalk ink. Pastel blue. Uh, quick dry fluid chalk ink. Oh, well that's fun, that's different. Well, okay, we've got something new and we're doing this for color because I don't want to see the white core of my cardstock. Does that make sense? I hope so. So, um, yeah, you would just do that to do it. Oh, these are, these are amazing. I love these. I think I have a bunch of these, actually. I do think I have a bunch of these because I was really into these at one time. So I'm not going to continue on with that part right there. I'm going to move it out of my way because that is another whole different project. We're going to put that over there. All right. So um, let me see. Oh, so I want to, before I do any, uh, I do any gluing, I do want to, you got to be careful with this. This is a whole different kind of product. It's fast drying, but 10 to 1, I'm going to end up with this chalk paint all over my hands. I mean, chalk ink. I'm used to working with chalk paint, which I love. I have tons of it because um, I used to do furniture and stuff, rehab furniture. So. so I asked earlier, what's new with you guys? How was your holiday weekend? I hope it was good. I know Easter's already over, but maybe you did something fun or went somewhere fun. I'd love to hear about it. Let's do this edge. Now, this paper, even though I scored it, uh, cracked. Cracked on me. So, I wasn't very happy, but, you know, that's what happens with paper that's this thick. This is a really good thick one. It's a, 49 to market is along the lines, I think, of Blue Fern. I feel like it has the same density that blue fern has it's very stiff which is great when you want to make a folder and you don't you know you don't have to have you don't have to reinforce it you don't have to do anything which is nice because i really like that so right now i'm doing this because we're getting a little tad of that blue i do like the pink and i may everything else is probably going to be a mixture of the pink the spun the spun sugar and this probably now one thing i do want to do before i get going um what I do with the little lids? Clear. Oh, there it is. Kind of reminds me of a little iron, doesn't it? Looks like an iron. So cute. Okay, I guess when it runs out of ink, it runs out of ink. You know what I mean? Okay, so we're going to fold this in half, you know, because what you see is we're getting that heavy binding in the middle that binds it up, and it's cracking badly. So we don't want that. So what we're going to do is we're going to fold it in half this way. This is how I do this. Oh, where's my pink? There's my pink shears. Okay, now I'm going to cut the little V out of it. I might want to cut a little bit more out of that side. There we go. Okay, let's see if I got it. Yeah. Okay, so that takes the bulk out. So that means that I am then going to go back and ink that little bit. Oh, shoot. I got that on there. Do I have a wipe? Oh, tell me I do. Okay, so be careful with this. It is difficult. My hands are a bit shaky today. I apologize. I don't know what's going on. I'm not feeling that great. So, okay, let's do that um all right now we could bring this in more we could round the corners i'm i'm almost thinking i want to round my little corners maybe just a little bit we can use our little chomper here and maybe just do the quarter inch and just get the very corner yeah that again because 
this is going to be in another fold, and we want to make sure that we're okay with that, that we have room. Oh, this stuff is awesome. You barely have to put it on. It is amazing. Okay, I'll have to do something to cover that up, but I'm sure I will. All right, so um, now where is... I have to think my way through this because this is the difficult part. Well, let's get it ready. Let's get them all ready. And then we'll talk about um, what we do next. How's that? Because this is kind of a how-to craft with me. This is a craft with me. It is a how-to. Put this together. I've done several of these. I have videos. I have full videos on these. Full videos. Um, start to finish. I think it was like a 13. Last time I did a really big one, it was like 13 or 12 or 10. I can't remember. There's a lot of videos for this. So um, but We're going to cut out that heavy middle again. We're only going to go up to the fold line. Don't go past that. I don't feel like I got it good enough, but I close it to get it. I don't cut a V because I want it to be the same on both sides. I just cut through the middle, right? Yeah, there we are. Now we can round these as well. And you know what? I'm gonna, even though I'm gonna glue it down, I'm still going to, well, am I gonna glue it down? Gotta decide now. What do I want to do? Well, I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna round it. It doesn't hurt anything. get these edges. I'm going to do this one too. Maybe I'll do them together. I don't know if this will let me. Did it work? Uh, uh, sometimes when you do it together, you don't get a very good cut. Yeah, let's try it. All right. So what we, we're prepping this, right? So this is a fun project. How to make this big folio. All right. Now, those are ready. So next up, oh, you guys, I'm going to be a chalky mess. It says quick drying, but it means it's not dry anyway. So what I want to do is if we close this, say it's all together and we go like this and we go like this and we go like this, this is what we should see. So that's going to be my back. Hmm. I hadn't thought about that one. I don't know if I like that. That's an inside then. Nope. I want it to be this way. Yeah, see, I knew I didn't have that right. So we're going to fold it like that. See how that rose is there. This rose needs to be here because this is my cover piece. This is where my lovely lady is going to go next. So, um, all right. So you want to play with it and to get it where you want it. Do you guys see what I'm doing? Hopefully you're not too confused. Now, you know what I'm gonna do next, right? I am going to leave a gap. We're gonna need a good size gap here because we have to get everything to fold in. And once you start filling it, you get a lot of everything. You know what I mean? So hold on a minute. I The chalk paint's bugging my hands. It's a whole different feeling. You know, it's very chalky. It's like, I have my, like I've been at the blackboard with a teacher. Okay, let's see. That stuff is great. I, anybody who's not using that, you should be using that hand sanitizer in your craft room because it takes care of all that yucky stuff on your hands and just deletes it. It just obliterates it. Okay, so this is gonna be really tough to do. Now, I chose a white because what we're working with is white. I'm wondering if I wanna do the outside first or the inside first. I can't say I'm particularly fabulous at this part and I usually don't like to do this on camera, but I think I'll do the inside. And we're going to go right down into that, that fold down there. I'm thinking this through, guys. It's been a while since I made one. I've done a couple. I've done two, and they sold really quickly. One at Christmas and one last year. It was an old. It was called Old Laces, and um, 
it sold like within seconds, you know, so it's um, definitely something that I love to make. I fill them up. They're a lot of fun. I put all kinds of goodies in them. Fill them with ephemera of all kinds. Oh, just super fun. Okay, so I'm going to leave a little gap. I have two pieces here. That's the inside. This is my outside piece because it's perfectly how it should be. Okay, so let me get it kind of about how I want. I want about, um, I'm going to say that's a half an inch. What do you think? You think it's a half an inch? I, let's see if I'm right. I'm going to have to check my time, guys, because as usual, I just started my video without looking. I was really excited. Yeah, it's a half an inch on the nose. All right, let me see how much time I have. 20, we're only 20 minutes in. Um, okay. So, ooh, I have one more thing I need to do before we forget. Let me get this together. Don't let me forget. I have one more thing to do, guys. Tell me I have one more thing I need to do before we go work anymore after I get this binding on. Because the binding has to dry for a bit anyway. So we're going to use Fabri-Tac because it is the most suited to this particular project. And um, I'm not sure where I need to have it because, well, I mean, I have an idea. About, about a quarter to a half an inch in, quarter inch, because this should be, I forgot to tell you how wide the strip was, sorry. Let me see. I'm not great at these how-tos. This is an inch and a quarter wide, almost an inch and a half. Let me see. Inch and a quarter. No, inch. And, that's about an inch and a half. So, and I'm gonna put that upside down because that's been a pain lately. Although it's warmer, so now maybe my glues will start behaving again. And I'm leaving this big a gap because I want to be able to fold it. Now, I don't want too much on this front side for sure because it is going to show. I hope I got that straight. <laughs> I'm doing it kind of blind, as you can see. Okay. And sirens and dogs. Yay. My favorite thing. <laughs> Boy, we got some howlers. We used to have the most, the quietest neighborhood. We must have new people who, have, or where they've got new dogs. I'm not sure which they like to howl. Up the, up the court, because we live on the edge of courts. So, okay. All right, now we want to turn it over. Now I could just probably, oh look at that, you guys. I don't need that other strip. Ha ha! I got lucky. This one's long enough for me to just fold it right down into the other one. Yay! All right, sometimes you get lucky. If you make it long enough, you could do that on purpose. <laughs> I didn't, but you could. I'm hoping I got enough. Fingers crossed. Now, I'm not going to worry about if the Fabri-Tac seeps through and shows. I try to put it on thin enough, it won't. But I'm going to be covering this with lace. If you know me, you know that's exactly what's going to happen here. And all I did was just pull it over and fold it down. And then when we add the lace on the inside and the outside, we will have really good coverage. I need to cut that off. Oops. Oopsie, I didn't think about that. Hold on, let me get this off there. Can you guys see? I'm, uh, I see what you're seeing. Let me see if I'm off camera. Not quite, but it, this is a big, this thing's big, you know, it's, it is 12 by 12 now. It is now 12 by 24, right? So it's now big. It's now a big one. It's now a big one. Alrighty. So we've got this and this. And now we should have this and this and that. See? Pretty. Pretty, pretty. All right. But I'm going to let it dry a little bit before I fold that. Keep folding. I don't want to keep doing that. So we have everything we could want. Where's mine? All right, let me check this side again. Oh, I made it wrinkle, darn it. I did not mean to do that. Ah, pushed it too hard, not enough glue. 
Oh, well, that's okay. I don't have any glue there, so I can kind of straighten that out. See what I did? Stuck that in there so I could, my glue will come out like it's supposed to. Alrighty, we got rid of the wrinkles. Yay! Put that back. All right, our base is good. We're going to let it dry for just a minute. I'm going to set it off behind me. Not that there's, oh gosh, where am I going to put that? Counters are full. I have too many projects going. Hold on a minute. Let me move this. All right, so we have the beginnings of our ephemera holder, and it's a big one. That's a folio, ephemera folio. So one thing I do want to share with you before I go any further, I'm oh, sorry about the sirens, guys. I can't do anything about it. As you know, I live by the ambulance, by the ambulances where their bay is. I live by the fire department and the hospital. Oh, sorry. Hold on a minute. Sorry. It's just loud. It feels like they're in my house. You should hear it when the helicopter comes in. Last night he came in about three in the morning and oh my God, I thought he was going to land on the house. I was so scared. <laughs> now, one thing I had wanted to do, I wanted to try the spray and I was going to do that before I um, put the pieces together. So what I might do, I've never used this stuff. I don't know that I want to do that on camera. <laughs> But for me to go any further, I might have to. So we'll see. What I do want to share with you is a Jewel Design. She's got some new kits that came out over Easter weekend. They're out. Nothing big and, and fancy. Just some great kits for you guys to use. This one's called... Um, <clears throat> Gosh, guys, I'm sorry. I just drew a complete blank. Let me look. It's called Tattered Cottage. I am in love with this paper. Oh my gosh. This is beautiful. I will be using this as backgrounds and pages and journals. Look at this. Look at that. Gorgeous. Or what? Look at that. I love it. She did a great job. She's really expanding her um, genre from being contemporary to going more towards our vintage and our shabby style. She has them vertical and horizontal. You can use them however you want. Isn't this fabulous? And we have that one. And that one. Beautiful, right? Oh, I'm in love. I will be using these in my journals. In fact, I don't know about this one, maybe. Maybe this one. I don't know if there's pieces that would look good with what I have. We'll see. So that's the first one. That's Tattered Cottage. I love it. And again, it is by a jewel design this is a great basic device you always want basic pieces in your arsenal for those of you who use that now we have what she calls washi sticker strips and this is vintage documents so we have wide ones medium and then we go to more of a medium size so we have three different kits here that you can cut up and use which you know you're seeing me using them a lot lately so i'm actually going to keep those two together in the folder and they are wonderful. So that's a jewel design. And I did want to share that with you. They're already in our shop. So if you need any basics or you want washi strips you can use with your documents, that's it. Uh, if you're doing Rachel's document um, journal right now, which I am, uh, you can use those for sure with her stuff or what we're doing. So because I am going to have pieces that are not covered like they should be. So... And that is the name of her shop. So if you want any of those, I printed them on bright white, 32 pound, and I printed them on a, uh, a fabric paper, which is like linen or cotton, okay? So, it, you, you know, the, it depends what you want it to look like. I think I'm probably gonna be using those in my um, other journal that we started. I haven't given up on anything. I've just got a couple things going. I need to have a few things because I get bored too easy. Um, so I'm thinking I can use some of them in that one. All right, someone did comment that, boy, I love my ladies, they're right. That's the era I would have loved to live in, so that's the era I want to live with. Um, if you don't like that, I understand. But, you know, remember, anything I do, you can just take the lady off or don't add it. Make the same project with papers you do like. So that's how you learn, okay? So now, I think this has dried a little bit. It feels pretty, pretty good. Not as dry as I would like. Now, you can glue these down. 
or leave them open. Um, I'm actually thinking about gluing the edges and leaving this open so I can put bigger, fatter pieces in there. That's how I like to do mine. Uh, this one, I will have to use fabric tech on this one right here because it's going onto a fabric piece. Does that make sense? Whoops, you know what? I wonder if I want to put my lace on there before I do that. Uh-oh. Um, but that would mean I also need to spray this beforehand. Darn it. How much of this do I want to spray? Really? Let me think about this now. I would think <clears throat> the only thing I might want to spray is my cover, maybe my front and my back. I wonder how long this takes to dry. Has anybody ever used this stuff? I've never used it. It's new to me. Shimmer spray. I mean, I have other shimmer sprays, but I've never used the uh, Dilutions. Is this a Tim Holtz thing? Is Dilutions Tim Holtz? Not him per se, but oh yeah, it's Ranger. Same company. Okay. Not his brand, but I know he uses stuff like this. I don't think it's his, is it? All right. Well, what if I... Oh, boy. I hope I'm not sorry I'm doing this. I'm going to pull my sleeves up. Let me see if I have a piece of paper to cover my desk. Oh, I do. You can tell I have used it for other projects. All right, so let's get that on there. Um, where's my apron? Because I do not want to be covered in spray on my good shirt. Uh, I'm at, hold on, I didn't leave you. Oh, okay. I'm grabbing my apron and I have uh, lacy gowns and stuff that I bought to cut up and have cut up and they're kind of in the way of my apron so I have oh, my sister a few years ago bought me a gorgeous tall apron is that not gorgeous so I'm gonna put that on it covers all my clothes top to bottom <laughs> I think it's as tall as I am it's seriously a major apron. I mean, I don't know what she thought I was going to be. Well, I think it's when I was doing my furniture. She didn't want me to get, ruin my clothes. Even if they were junk clothes, you know what I mean? So let me. Okay, apron on. Apron on. All right, we're good. Now. Oh, you guys, I don't know. Should I do this? Maybe not. Um, Let me get, you know, that. remember that piece I was playing with a minute ago? Let me see about that um oh gosh i don't know let me try this first because if i don't like it i don't want to ruin my cover right wouldn't that be awful oh goodness i would cry okay you guys hold your breath cross your fingers your toes your eyeballs this is shake like crazy um oh it would help if i actually open the thing oh boy okay Boy, we're experimenting all over the place today, aren't we? Well, how fun is that, right? We're playing. Today, we are playing. Little mixed media, right? I used to do mixed media way back when I first started scrapbooking and mixed media. I went from scrapbooking to mixed media to happy planners. But that was back in the days when we used magazines, not um, YouTube. So we didn't even know what YouTube was until four years ago. So... I had never heard of YouTube. Oh, I heard of it, but I didn't know. I didn't know who could watch it. I didn't know if it had any limit. I just didn't know anything about YouTube. But, boy, I learned in a hurry. So, there you go. Mm. Wow, that was a... That was not going to leak, and I was not getting into it unless it wanted me to. You know what I'm saying? Okay, let me put that away. All right. Ah! <laughs> I just threw that across the room. <laughs> Oh my gosh, your friend is a nutball. Okay. Okay. All right, let's go. Let me. Oh, if it even sprays. Well, oh, there we go. Oh, that comes out heavy. Okay, so we want to go far away. Oh, it's like a white. Uh, that's not what I thought it was. I thought it was going to be kind of clear. Oh, I hadn't planned on that. Okay, well, um, 
I don't know that that's the look I want. Dog on it. Okay, now I'm gonna go set that on my other desk. Hold on one minute. So it's gotta dry, I'm gonna put on my glass mat over there. Um, I'm gonna do the other piece for that project. That way my pieces all go together. But I'm glad I did this first because now I don't think. I mean, I'm way far away. So we'll have to see if it adds actual shimmer. I don't see. Oh, yeah, it's shimmery. A little bit. I don't think you can see it. Sort of shimmery. I don't know what it'll do once it dries. So um, I don't think that is kind of the look I wanted on my. Now, I've wanted that for other projects, so, hmm, interesting thought. Do I want it for this project, right? Do I? Oh, wow, that just came undone. It says you have to clean it off right away because it will gum up your sprayer immediately. So, I think I got it. It says to store on its side, so we'll just make sure it's tight and lay it down. Oh, boy, that worries me. All right, I'm going to move this away. I'm going to put that on the floor. Hopefully, it'll dry. And, oh, it's very shimmery. Hmm, I wish there was a way I could control it better. Maybe even farther away? Spray off than spray on? Someone said to do that at one time. I don't know, you guys, what do you think? Should I, should I, should I, should I? I've never done that. I did want something different. I didn't want the same old, same old, but then we'd have to let it dry and we couldn't work on it anymore. I guess we'd have to go to another project. Hmm. No. Well, do it, don't do it. Oh my gosh, I don't know. But I see the shimmer. I see the shimmer on here when I put it on the floor in the light. This really shimmers. And I think it would add a unique texture to my journal, which is supposed to be very shabby chic. So, but I don't want that side. Let me move this over. Let's go like this. Sorry, guys. Sorry for the noise. I'm sorry. I can't do anything about it. I have to do that. Okay. So, oh gosh. Do we, do we, do we? Let me keep shaking because I think that is also, seem like the more I shook it, the better it got. Oh gosh, you guys. Is that wet? Not really. It's kind of um, chalky, actually. Yeah, it's wet. How can I... I just don't want to put that on there. I really might cover it. Oh, well, I'll just fold it in and I'll do the outside too. I don't really care. I just use this for crafting on. That's big uh, floor paper. You know, like when I, we used it for covering our floors when we were putting the floors in. Here. Eh. Oh, no, I might get that dirty. I don't want to do that. Oh, gosh. Okay. Well, that's a disaster. So now, hold on. Let me try something else. Um, I think I have another piece from when Jolene and I did our um, our flip flops together. We had this. Uh, we had both sides of our table covered. And I use this when I'm coffee dyeing paper on my kitchen counters. So fun, fun. Fun, fun, and the dad took the tea bird away. <laughs> okay. Until I'm nervous, I'm singing to myself. Get myself in trouble with YouTube for singing it because it was the Beach Boys. And we'll have fun, fun, till our daddy took the tea bird away. You guys recognize that one? If you're old enough. Okay, here we go. All right. So, uh, yeah, it added a little something. I'm not going to overspray because I don't think, sorry, I need to get that in your face, but it's there and it is shimmery. Yeah, you can see it and I don't want to overdo it. So I'm just going to leave that and I'm going to send it over to the window here. I have the window open and it's a warm, warm day. So let's let the nice warm air on that. Oh, let me clean this again. fun that's different right I mean I guess we need to be more I need to be more brave in my crafting you know I always do the safe thing so that was not safe at all <laughs> so, 
now it's kind of scary for me. All right, so that's on my floor drying. And the other one's on my floor drying. And oh, that paper is very cool. Wouldn't that be fun to make something out of that, right? I think it really would. Um, so I am going to use my hand sanitizer again to get that off my hands before I touch anything else. And I will tell you, oh my gosh, I am roasting in this apron. It's so heavy. It's a very heavy duty, like a bark cloth uh, canvas. It's a canvas apron, actually, cotton canvas. So I'm gonna put that over there, I'm letting everything dry. We'll go back and check that in a minute. Whew. Oh my goodness, I'm hot. Okay. So, now what? We could work on a few, what time do we have? Let me see how much time do I have? I'm at 40 minutes, 50, 60, 20 minutes. Is that right? Um, we could decorate a couple or we could just rip these up maybe. This one I'll rip up. Why don't we do that? I think I'm going to get my, I don't use the, this particular tear ruler much because I'm not great with it. But since I've been doing more tear ruler, maybe I'll be okay with it. But I know I have to hold down on a... So what I did with this is it's kind of a vegetable dyed paper. Then I used like a pink um, stamp, ink stamp. I think I used Victorian velvet and I stamped little words and things on the paper and then I put everything on there, went back and stamped. And I used some little stickers from a kit that I had. Uh, well, they're chipboard pieces, little thin ones um, from some kit and I think they're adorable and they can be used on all kinds of fun projects. So I'm gonna, because I want a rough edge, right? And I'm going to make them squares or rectangles or whatever. And I can always change the shape when, you know, we go put them in something or we use them on something. But I want to be able to get them into that book. So, eh, come on now. Come on, you. There we go. Yeah, well, I don't care how rough and messy they are because that's the whole point, right? We want them very shabby, shabby, chicy. Let me go like that. I don't just work with ladies, but lately I have because it's my love. I love working with vintage and Victorian. And, you know, these are Civil War ladies. And um, so, you know, I have family history with that era. So, yeah, it speaks to me tremendously. So, I was a daughter of the American, I am a daughter of the American Revolution. My ancestor, William Whipple, signed the Declaration of Independence from the British. So, you know, I have, I'm steeped in very old old very old everything <laughs> uh anyway all right so we have these now because there's they've been sitting on my wall for like two years so they're not getting used and that's what i thought i thought well they're not getting used so why don't i just cut these up these are page strips. These go down the side of a page and you just need to put on your focal point, whatever you're going to do. So I think I'm, I, I, I'm, I'm wondering if these will fit in here or if I need to like make a book just for that. I don't know. Let me see. What do I have? I could put them on because I'm going to want to, you know, kind of increase the size of them. Does that make sense? I would think. I'm wondering if I would like them on, like I really like this, but I'm wondering if maybe these need to go on that. Possibly, right? I have pages back here too that are pink. Oh yeah, even that one. I mean, that would be fun to have some of those in the blue, but once I do that, then I've gone away from my pink, so I don't know if I really wanna do that. But these might be cool on here. <clears throat> I do feel like, where did, all right. I feel like these straight edges on here are not gonna make me happy. I don't know if I can get around it because I've got fabric on there. I don't know if I can. Let me see. Oh no, I ended up ripping into the main one. See, I am not good with these stupid rulers at all. I am horrible really am bad with the rulers not this tear one i'm great with a straight ruler but i do not like this tear ruler i've never done well with it never ever ever no matter how much i practice it's just not my thing i don't know what the deal is all right 
I'm getting rid of some of the straight edges because I don't want to put them in the book that way. And they're kind of too big, really. And I'm just really kind of sort of killing time but creating something while I'm doing it because I'm waiting for that paper to dry so we could work on it some more. Because I want to get the lace in on the binding and then maybe start a little more on the cover and then go on maybe in another video. You know, and now in videos, I'll start making things to go into it. You know, interesting different bits and pieces right so I don't mind using this for this let's see if I can do it for the big thing I just didn't want to do it with a little thing so I'm going to kind of go in half here there we go and I don't think we're going to get much further because I have to see I'll go see if that's dry in about two seconds let me try ripping this down and then I'll go I'll go see Whew, okay well I hope you guys are having a good time and doing a lot of crafting. I have not been crafting at all. I've been resting, so I'm kind of excited to get back to it. It's been a bit, so it's gonna a slow start. It's gonna take me a bit to get my mojo back. You know, when you get when you're not well, you lose your mojo. So these are all going to be ready to go in. These, I think I will probably, I guess now off camera more than likely, um, because I think we're running out of time, decorate these, but you know. I have my little formulas that I use, you know, when I'm when I'm doing that, and I'll see if I can get some of them decorated, or if not all decorated, at least cut up in the book so that when I want to use them, I can. I would like to decorate with whatever I have here because I have all kinds of little blue goodies here to to do that to decorate these up with and um, make them look all pretty. I got butterflies and all kinds of fun things, so buttons and lace and. So I've just never gotten to it, and I think it's time I get those done and then get them in in my books. I'm probably going to have to do another book, so I'll bet you I fill it up. And I would like to just have ones that we start from scratch, too, where I'm in the mood and I make a bunch of um, clusters and decorate them to use in projects. I haven't done blue, but it doesn't mean I don't have blue ones in my future. I mean, the journal I'm working with now is pretty blue, so let's see if our other um, goodie is dry. We, it's right in the window, so there's a good chance it is. Let me see. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. Yeah, it's dry. Oh, okay. Yay. All right. Let me... The only thing I want to do, though, to make sure it is... Oh, I just made a huge mess. I just dumped everything. Oh, no. There went my buttons. Oh, gosh, you guys. I was trying to be in a hurry and now I can't find it, which means the cat will find it. Oh, there it is. Hallelujah. Mm. Oh gosh, you guys. Okay, so let's get this in here. All right, let's put this up here. Um, what I was thinking was I would just lay this on top and go like this just to make sure that there's nothing wet, you know, on no, nothing came off here, so not even a sparkle, so we're good. All right, this is good. Now our next thing would be to add our lace. I do like the shimmer. Ooh, it's a pretty one. Um, I kind of wish she had put some lace in that kit. That would have been fabulous, but I have tons and tons of lace, so it's not like I need it. So I have a couple laces I think I want to use. Um, I had them set out. What did I do with them? Well, there's one. Uh, I've got a couple different colors because I'm not real sure if I want white or I want um, cream. I bet you I don't want cream. I'm not sure because I think she's the gal who's going to go on there. I mean, I have a number of pretty ladies that could go on there. She, whoops, there's this one. I'm not crazy about her face. This one's very pretty, but she sort of blends in. We have that one, which I'm leaning towards. I mean, that's darker. That's kind of a, um, that one's really pretty too. It was kind of a toss up between these two ladies. But what I was thinking is, whichever one didn't go there would maybe go back there for the back cover. Got kind of how I was thinking is I would go like that. So when, you know, it's like this, you've got, or maybe she could go on one of the inside ones. Oh, she would be really pretty there. So if we kind of went like that, that might be good. And then I could put a pocket or something back there. Um, so that's kind of what I'm thinking. I mean, I have all these ladies that I cut out that I think 
would look great with this. I mean, I have one that's kind of pink, but I just loved her gown. I think her gown is what's speaking to me, but I also, mm, that one's really pretty because she's facing in instead of facing out. I wasn't thinking of using her, but there's a chance I am. But let's see, I, so what I was saying is I need to get a lace that would look good with that to go over the bright white, because I don't really want, you know, I want something, oh, that would be really pretty with her. I don't have a lot of it. Oh, I know you guys can probably hear my chimes. It's getting windy out. It's warm and windy. Oh boy, is it. Let me see. How much lace would I use? Because I would be pretty much using up all my lace on this one. Well, not bad. It sort of picks up the ecru and some of the creams in the papers. It does cover the white pretty much, which is fine. Yeah, I think that's my, I think this is my lace. I really do. I think I'm going to cut it off right here. Okay. Boy, there's not much of that left. Goodness. Well, I think I only bought a yard or two of it. Um, or whatever they had available. I guess I don't want these, so we'll put those back. They're too yellow, and I really didn't want anything yellow. That's kind of a creamy pink, almost a pink. Okay, wait, I, is there, where did my pin go for? Ah, I knew there was one for this, because I was looking at this one, but I, I think it's too yellowy white, which wasn't what I wanted. Oh, but I do see another one. Okay, I know you're thinking make up your mind, but nope, that's not something I do quickly when it comes to covers. I take my time on my covers. My covers are everything to me. Oh no, I don't like that, it's too sheer. But boy, is it a pretty, pretty lace. I may be using it. Oh, I know, I might use that behind her though. Hmm, I think I've got another use for this one. I think it's gonna go behind her because it's super sheer. All right, so no matter what gown I use, I think either one is going to be fine with this. This has got those little flowers just like that. It has the same flowers on it. And then this one kind of has that same look too. So I think she's going to, I don't know. We'll see. All right. But this is it. Okay. So, oh, how much time do I have? I tend to when I'm out of time and we have to quit. Oh, what do you think, you guys? 52. Oh, I've got time to glue this on. We're good. We're good. All right. So let's start on the back side here. I want to make sure I get it right side up. I'm going to go up and over again, just like I did on the last one. Strengthens the... We're going to fabric tack this. And this time I have a guideline. It is all of this. So we have covered quite a few things today, you guys. We are using scrapbook paper to make covers and to make a cluster book, cluster books, and which is which is these, which is um, how this works is there were six sheets of 12 by 12 scrapbook paper, either double sided or single. And then I made another, I put another one on as a cover and I could use that also when I'm all done if I need a, a paper. And then I just stitched up the center with my sewing machine. Or you could do hand. You can hand tie it together if you want. If you don't have a sewing machine. Where is my middle? Oh my goodness. Where's the middle of this thing? Oh, there it is. Okay. So we learned how to make that. This. And then the the um, coffee dyed stuff comes from... I keep knocking all the bits and pieces to that on the floor. i got to get those done. All right. Did I? I did. And I didn't put it, push it down, so I'm probably going to have to re-glue it. Let me get... I'm trying to get a cloth here. <laughs> They're everywhere. Okay. These are dry ones. Dry, wet ones. Let's see. Do we need to add... Oh, we absolutely do. Gosh, you guys, I'm breaking out in sweat in here. It's warmer than I thought today. I opened the window to dry this thing, so let's flip it over. And 
let's pull it down. See how far we're gonna go. Oh gee, that dried on me. Oh, whoops. I didn't mean to do that. Remember, I was not gonna do that. So let's cut off the part I don't need. Okay. And let's glue it. I shouldn't have turned it right side up. Okay, so we have gotten a start on our ephemera folio, our large ephemera folio. And I'll have to come up with a name for this one because I don't know yet. And I did pull it all the way down because you do see the lace right here. I didn't think I would, and I realized at the last minute, yes, I would. So I am pulling this tight to make sure I am covering that fabric. Um... I really didn't want bright white, but I don't mind the bright white under it. I think bright white under the ecru is beautiful. This is a, a very much a pink, has a pink, sort of a pink cream base to it. All right, not cream, ivory maybe, I don't know. It's got a pinky base to it. So that's what I wanted, something that would pick up all these colors. So this is what we have, you guys. And we have our shimmer on there. We have our lace on there. There will be much more on there, as you know from watching me make my covers and seeing the finished product of the covers. And we're probably going to have a beautiful lady on there with some lace and some pearls because that kit came with some stunning stuff. Um, it came with, well, rubber stamps, of course, but I, I don't know if she has any more of these. She's probably sold out, but you can get the bits and pieces. See, I'm thinking I'm gonna add some of that with her and some lace and zhuzh it up big time so i'm thinking this is going to to end up on here and um you know then she'll be on there with some lace behind her some other pearls maybe some flowers but i won't over decorate until um i do the inside whatever i'm going to do here and here and up here then i will add all the goodies i'll zhuzh it because if you do it before you're working on a really difficult um surface it's bumpy i did i made that mistake last time and oh it was so hard for me so now we're going to close this one before we say goodbye all right and i'm gonna hold that down for a minute and then i'm gonna do the outside i'm gonna leave that i'm not sure why that's buckling already i mean i've given it room i might actually have to cut a bigger v there's a good chance I'm going to, which is bad. Uh, I've got to do it right away if I'm going to do it before I glue it down. So, okay, that didn't hold, so I'm going to wait. Um, and uh, I think I'm going to make a little bit bigger V because I noticed it's catching. I, I need to take more out of both of those. This one's fine, but I don't, and it already kind of ripped a little bit. So, but we've covered that up already. You won't ever see any of that. So... Well, you guys, this is our folio, and it's our uh, lovely ephemera folio, and this kit, let's see, what is this kit called, you guys? I don't even know. Um, let me look. I guess that will kind of maybe dictate our name, but it's Vintage Artistry Tranquility. So, I probably will call this Vintage Roses. I think this is going to be Vintage Roses um, for now, and so... This vintage rose portfolio, we could call it a folio, we can call it whatever we want. Anyway, this is our newest project, one of many that I'm working on, but it's fun. It's something I really enjoy doing because now when I make a camera, it will go in here and I have all kinds of fun things I do. Um, and I'll probably go back and look at some of my other ones to see what I've made for my folios in the past. So that'll be fun. But anyway, there you have it. This is our newest project along with these lovely cluster books. And cluster sheets. So we have a little bit, three different things that for you to work with or on if you want and get yourself going. Especially if you're new, it's a good way to, to build up your stash. So you might want to think about that. And I want to thank you all for coming along and letting me have a play and have some fun with me today. And I will see you all again soon, you guys. I love you. Hugs and kisses. Bye-bye.